Hi, I'm Estelle. In this video, I'm making a crochet patchwork sweater. I wanted to make one even before I learned how to crochet. This fall, I had a road trip planned with my sister and I thought it was the perfect time to make one, as I would have some hours on the road to start this project. This kind of trip is already a sister's tradition. We do it every fall. Wanna join us? For this project I used four different shades of brown and cream. I ended up using about three balls of yarn for each color. I will link the details in the description if you want to use the same yarn. I found the inspiration for the sweater on Pinterest. You can follow me there to see more ideas. I've been obsessed with this sweater. The youtuber Stephanie from Steph Times wears it in some videos. She doesn't have a tutorial for this. So I thought since it's made only with squares, I could wing something similar and make my own pattern. After some tests, I figured out the size I would need for each part. This is for a small size sweater. I choose to make the squares with half double crochet because it makes a beautiful pattern. To make this stitch, you have to yarn over before you insert the hook into a stitch and then pull the final yarn over through all three loops in the hook. I enjoyed very much having time to crochet on the road and making stops to visit some small villages in our way to Asturias. This October we were attending our cousin's wedding in Oviedo, so it was the perfect excuse to do some vacations and visit the region. For the ribbing, I decided to mix the colors. I used the same stitch I used for the crochet pumpkins. It's a single crochet, but taking only half of the chain. This way it's more stretchy. Let me show you how I made this. I started with four chains, then chain up and single crochet. After the second row, I only took half of the chain, like this. Once I had all the pieces, I started sewing to attach everything. I started with the body, then the arms and finished with the ribbing. I was so excited and I can't wait to show you the final piece, so let's get into it. I am so happy about how this sweater looks. This yarn is no itchy at all and it feels very soft and it fits me perfectly. It feels so special. I even decided to give it a name, the Astur Sweater. Please let me know what you think and if you would be interested in a written pattern for this. Thank you so much for watching. I would be so grateful if you could subscribe, like or leave a comment. Adeu! Sometimes love